What's up guys, Slaughter Fitz back here with another video. This time we're doing another Skyrim build. But before I get into it, I just killed this guard and his sword and shield are still floating. Which is kind of funny, I've never seen that glitch before. But uh, yeah, let's get into the build. So the idea behind this build was like, I don't know about y'all, but I regularly go into a cave just seeking treasure and quests. And I'll run into a whole bunch of mages that will like blast me with a ton of spells and it's like super annoying to deal with and they just hit me with like ice shit so I move super slow and they can just like back up and it's super annoying. So the idea behind this build is just a mage murderer, just like anti-mage kill machine. <laughs> and yeah, alright so let's get into it. So starting off with the apparel, um, the armor I guess, <laughs> I chose the former heavy armor for this build. And why I chose that is it has the same base uh, protection as Ebony, I'm pretty sure. So you don't need that extra skill point of getting whatever it'd be, Daedric or Dragon. But it's still like really good armor. So yeah. Um, so the armor is has an armor rating of 270 when upgraded. And I uh, the enchantment I put on it was health generates 35% faster and increases my health by 70 points. So just a super like health upgrade. So, because, like, if I'm fighting mages, they usually launch, like, a ton of attacks so I can take it. Because sometimes on some of my characters, I just get, like, blown away in, like, two seconds. Because there's, like, five mages, like, launching shit at me. And then, for the boots, an armor rating of 111. Carrying capacity increased by 42 points. That's always good. One-handed attacks do 45% more damage. That's super helpful. Um, gauntlets, 111. Uh, one handed attacks do 45. You you really want to stack up on like uh, whatever you use one handed or two handed because it just makes it do so much more damage and it's like super helpful. Increases heavy armor skill by 28 points. Uh, my gold. Oh, I need to take a quick piece. Uh, my uh, gold diamond necklace increases health by 70. Always good. One handed attacks. Once again, do 45% more damage. Another one handed enchantment on the ring and increases my heavy armor skill by 28 points. And then, so if you don't know what this is, this is a shell bug helmet. And yes, there is a Falmer heavy helmet, but the shell bug helmet is slightly better and matches the aesthetic. So that's why I picked it. And shell bugs are like these weird bugs that you can like mine that be in like weird locations around Skyrim. They're kind of, I don't know, they're super weird. I don't, I almost never see them. But increases your magicka by 70 points. Restoration spells cost 28% less to cast. So yeah, also like whenever I'm fighting mages, I often like like take a lot of damage and want to back up and do some like restoration and then get back to fighting and yeah I don't know if I already said this but armor rating of 150 so that's pretty good for a helmet alright so for weapons I did Daedric weapons which are always good and you can get through the uh, Atronach Forge so you still don't need that skill point but the Atronach Forge can be kind of annoying um so the Daedric bow I never really do I'm not really use ever I ever use bow so I never really upgrade it so only 30 damage so not that good um, but it does do 42 points of stamina damage target takes 28 points of shock damage and half as much to magicka damage I only really ever use bows if I see someone up ahead that doesn't see me and I just crouch get like a sneak a sh sneak bonus shot and I like, hit him one time and then just rush him and like kill him unless it's like a build that uses bows more but usually I don't ever use bows um, and then I decided for this build to do something I don't think I've ever done before and use two different styles of like like weapons I guess I do that like when I'm just in my playthrough if that's like the two weapons I have but as like a complete character like I, I don't ever have a build that has like a sword and an axe but I decided to do it uh, for two reasons one because even though it takes more skill points then you can get two uh, of the like benefits you know what I'm saying the perks whatever they are uh, oh, I know this is it. you can get the critical the critical damage perk and have the axe bleeding damage but in my opinion the maces ignoring the armor is high key the best one but still I wanted to do, do those ones for this build so yeah let's get into it um, the sword 50% chance of Element of fire, frost, or shock to do 28 points of damage. So chaos enchantment, and then paralyze the target for five seconds. So it is really good for that. I should have recorded it. I killed these uh, these guards down here. A little bit of a massacre. Probably shouldn't have, but 
the paralyzed, but he's doing them so dirty. It's crazy. Um, and then what do I have on my axe? Okay, same thing. So yeah, super good. These fuck people up. So yeah. And so the best race for fighting mages is Breton because they have 50% magic resistance and that comes in super helpful. So yeah, if you're going to do a mage build, you definitely want like to be a Breton. <laughs> so yeah, Breton blood gives 25% resistance to magic and you should get the Agent of Mara perk because, or the active effect, because it's plus 15 uh, resist magic. So yeah, both of those come in helpful or come in handy. Alright, so I guess this is a perfect opportunity. I was going to go somewhere else to test out the build, but I guess this is the perfect opportunity. So, I guess I can just play this card. So, in a second I'll show you how it fares against... Oh. Is that a one-shot kill? Let me check what difficulty I'm on. Yeah, expert, that's what I was playing. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. Well, one shot kill. So uh, that was pretty good. Um, yeah. All right. Next location. Oh. That one dude got blasted. What the hell? Oh. One, one shot on him, too. I mean, he was almost dead, but a one shot. Guys are getting fucked up. <coughs> Daedric weapons are super cold. Is there one more? Whoa, what the Yeah, see, this armor's pretty good. I mean, I can eat these. How did you miss that? Like, she's abandoned Marauder. She probably does a decent amount of damage, but that's not my case. That Paralyze really comes in handy. Oh, shit. All right, well, we're going to test out the build right here. I was eating chips. We gotta start testing out. Oh, yeah. So I just ended her shit right there. Novices cannot keep up. And I guess if you don't want, um... To be a Breton and be magic resistance, I would say you could pick an element. I'd say the best. I know Dunmers are supposed to be wizards, but I'd say Nords would actually maybe be good. Because they have uh, frost resistance and a lot of uh, mages use frost. I wonder why that one over there doesn't see me. But yeah, I would say Nord or Breton. Or always Orc is always good. Because it can go like crazy. Kill mode. But yeah, I guess Denver would be good. A fair amount use fire. I just feel like I see the most with... I, as you can see, I'm pretty bad with the bow, but I'm hitting some of these shots. But yeah, Dajic bow is always good. But yeah, let's go inside to the real fight. So my weapons do a lot of damage. Those uh, one-handed perks or enchantments come in handy. 186 and 195, so that's why I'm one-shotting a lot of these people. But yeah, let's get into this. I kind of don't even remember this place, Felglow Keep. I just looked up a good place to fight mages and it said to come here. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I'm completely eating this magic. Being a Breton, it takes pretty high level magic to do like a real damage, especially once you, especially once you have um, whatever it's called. I don't know, even know what else we're But yeah, let's get into it. Master Dude, yeah, even this is not doing that much. Even a higher. Level.
So yeah, as you can see, definitely very good for killing mages. Ah, one more. That one to cast their strength. So yeah, this is like not even. Here. And I'm playing on expert. I mean, I don't know. Maybe like real savages play on master. I don't know. But I just play on expert, and like I would assume it would be kind of hard. And that shit didn't even hurt me like at all. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this build, guys. Tell me what you think of it in the comments down below. If you think it's good, if you think it's trash, let me know. I like the look of this like Falmar armor with the shell book helmet, but uh, I could see why it could look kind of whack to some people. But it's also nice that you don't have to use extra skill points on uh, the, whatever it's called, Daedric or Dragonbone, because those could take a lot. But yeah, let me know what you think of the build, and I'll see you on the next video.